Okay, hey, uh, do you want to get out of here? Take this. Okay, bye! Wow! That was some of the best animation I've ever seen in my life! Okay, Kingsglaive, Fall Fantasy XV, the tie-in movie for the upcoming Fall Fantasy game, it's alright. It's an alright movie with absolutely amazing CGI animation, I cannot stress that enough. But in terms of the story department, it does flounder a bit, and that ultimately brings it down. Now, that isn't to say there aren't any good things in the story. Its theme of political intrigue and social discourse via a refugee crisis in what can easily be described as the techno-magical answer to World War II? That's... that's actually shockingly intelligent and rather clever. But it is a real shame that, in regards to the actual details of the story, Everything just gets shoved down our throats, and it doesn't really give us enough time to really understand what we've been told. And some details in the story actually come out of nowhere. There's this thing about a magic ring, and I swear it's never brought up any time until after it shows up. And the characters, their establishment is very, very rushed. They're introduced, we're shown a one-note personality or two, though they do get some fleshing out. The, the issue is that what we know about them is just rushed out the door, even when we get more information about them and who they are. And because of that, it really undermines any emotional depth. There's a scene where a character dies, and her... kinda brother-in-arms sees her dead, and we're supposed to feel sorry for her, but we really didn't see much of her outside of a friggin' awesome fight scene at the beginning of the movie. And it just comes off as, well, weak. Something that isn't helped by that there are some jarring scene transitions. I mean, one scene will play out, it has an established tone and style to it, like this one elegant scene at a celebratory event, and then the next scene, all of a sudden, it's just about, about a bunch of refugees who are planning to rebel, meeting out in an abandoned video game arcade, and it's all grungy, and it's such a glaring contrast to what came before. But thankfully, the voice cast is fan freaking tastic, at least with the main characters. They actually got some decent aliases like Aaron Paul and Sean Bean to play a character called King Regis. And <laughs> funnily enough, his character dies. I mean, it's Sean Bean. His character was gonna die anyway. But aside from some great casting choices for the main English cast, the secondary characters, you know, the characters that don't get named or are just in the background, their voice actors are substantially less talented. And when you do notice how they talk, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. They really could have done better with actors providing voices for the background characters. Just saying. Now, you probably noticed, I haven't said much about the story outside of, well, some general criticisms of it. See, that's because this is set in, again, a Final Fantasy world. This is a tie-in for Final Fantasy XV, the upcoming game, and, okay, being interested in not only Final Fantasy XV, but Final Fantasy as a franchise is kind of a prerequisite to getting into this movie. Now, I'm a, I've been a fan of Final Fantasy since I played the 10th game, but even I was kind of nodding off a bit in some scenes. And for the uninitiated, Almost every Final Fantasy game is set within its own self-contained universe, so there aren't exactly a lot of details you're going to pick up unless you've actually got some investment in the franchise. But in that respect, this is not a Final Fantasy Spirits Within. It's not another one of that, it's basically another Advent Children, because it's faithful, it takes place within one of the game's universes, and it's freaking awesome to see all the stuff that they've showcased in the demos, and the gameplay videos actually being presented in what is a friggin' beautiful piece of animation brilliance and artistic style. Just a shame it all comes across as a cutscene for a game that, uh, honestly, I'd, be, I'd rather be playing. But hey, at least the art style is nice and the animation is fan friggin' fantastic if I didn't make that clear enough before. And the fight scenes, with everything going on there, they can be a little bit... Busy and hard to make out, kind of like a Michael Bay movie, but my god, they suck it back into it! In all the right ways. Right, after that excitement's died down, Kingsclay, Final Fantasy XV, it's alright. 
If you're a fan of Final Fantasy, okay, this is a no-brainer, you really should check this out. It's actually worth checking out if you're a fan of Final Fantasy. If not, well, this movie doesn't have a lot to offer you outside of its amazing animation. The casual onlooker will be more than likely just confused as to just what's going on, who these people are, and basically, it's just an alright movie. If you check it out, you're going to get some awesome animation, but a story that's not really going to connect with you unless you're a fan of the franchise. Check it out if you want. If you're a fan, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, which I finally put out, then don't forget to also like, favorite, and subscribe. Got some other movie reviews that I'm going to get out as soon as possible, as well as a game review on Call of Duty World of War Final Fronts. So stick around for that.